Okay, it's been a while, but I think I can finally show you my studio. Come in. Okay, so here we go. Um, there was a lot of issues with the studio. That's why I didn't show it to you before. There was so much echo, the lighting, everything was just so hard to film. But I think I've finally nailed the ideal, perfect content creation setup including things like this that it turns. I'll show you more and stay tuned till the end because I'll be showing you what's in there. If you're an Apple fan, I think you're gonna love it. All right, starting off with the door. I put this little backpack holder so I can simply just put my backpack whenever I want. So whenever I come in the studio, I just put my backpack over here. It's super useful. Over here is my Lego Star Wars collection, my Lego minifigure collection. Starting off from episode one to episode nine, including Mandalorian, including Rogue One. I love Star Wars and I love Lego and I collect Lego minifigures. I don't really have a lot of space in order to collect spaceships and all of it, so. And then in here is kind of the heart of the entire studio. This is where all the magic happens. Let me break it down. So this is the heart of the entire setup because everything is connected to one single cable. So what I mean lighting, when I mean my cameras, when I mean microphones, when I mean my audio interface, everything is connected to one cow digit, which is right here, which is awesome. So just by one cable connecting it via Thunderbolt to my MacBook Pro, which my MacBook Pro is the heart of the setup, everything is connected to one thing. For my audio interface, I've got my Rodecaster, which is where I connect my microphone, which is then connected all the way in a cable up to here, but I'll show you that later. I've got my MacBook with a dock, so I love the fact that I've got a MacBook instead now with an iMac or a Mac Mini, because I'm always on the go, so I love having a dedicated setup, but also a computer that I can just take whenever. What's cool is this top bar right here, I actually use it, so I can actually hook up my small rig lights, which are absolutely insane, I'll tell you about them in just a bit. Then I'm you know, reaching up till the top, it's kind of annoying. I can simply tell Siri or, apart from using Siri, I can also use this small rig little display which is actually hooked up with a cable up there. So I can turn off and turn on the lights, change the temperature, change the how powerful it is. All right, so before I show you the actual setup and filming process and how everything is super useful because everything is just so well built now and it's so easy for me to do content creation. Look how big, I mean look, I'm, I'm actually pretty tall. Just look how big this is. I absolutely love this light. All right, so here's my Funko Pop collection. I collect only Disney and Pixar Funko Pops before I collected, you know, Marvel, Star Wars, and a bunch of like Stranger Things. I sold all of it and now I'm only connecting Disney and Pixar because if not, you know, the collection gets way too crazy and I don't want to have a bunch of just only toys all around my home, right? Let me know in the comments down below right now, by the way. What's your favorite in Disney slash Pixar movie? Mine is Ratatouille. I hope yours is too. All right, so here's my desk setup and here's my whole filming rig. I'm super happy and super proud of it because it's just functional. You know, I've got two cameras right now. I've got a top-down and an A-roll camera. So I don't really need to do a lot of B-roll because everything is filmed at the spot, which is cool. Starting off with everything, because there's a lot to talk about. With this, this is the Sony A7S III. This is my main camera, which is hooked up to something that is awesome, and if you're a content creator, I definitely recommend it. Small Rig sells this kind of thingy that you can twist your camera. It's this mount that you mount to your actual A7S. So you can simply twist. Now, why is this useful? Well, if you're a content creator, you gotta film YouTube videos, TikToks, Reels, all of that, right? So before, you know, it, it, it was a hassle to turn this. So with this, you can just simply, look how easy it is. I'm absolutely as obsessed with this thing. Small rig, you've made probably one of the best products in the world. I've got this C-stand right here, which is basically hooked up to a couple things. First off, to this stick, which is then connected to this little tripod thingy, which then connects to my other secondary camera to film all of my top-down shots. I know you have been loving the content recently, and that's all because of this whole setup right here, which is awesome. Then I've got this other arm right here, which is connected to this, and then it's connected to this, and then it's connected to this, and then it's connected to this. 
Um, this is a microphone from Sennheiser. Jonathan Morrison actually gave me this microphone. Jonathan, thank you again. And what's cool about this is that I can just simply turn it like this and just hide it. So whenever I don't want a bunch of stuff, I can just hide everything, which is super useful. I've got a stand back right here just so, you know, everything just doesn't fall in my best setup. That would be horrible and I hope that never happens. And then I've got the monster again. The RC450B from Small Rig again. This light, look at this, I mean. All right, let me turn that down because I know I just blinded the heck out of you. Is the lighting better now? This is the desk setup itself. The desk itself is actually from a ton of this. It's a standing desk, so I can actually lift it. My monitor of choice is the studio display, which once again is all connected to the heart of the setup the Cal Digit and my MacBook Pro. In terms of the mouse, keyboard, and trackpad, I just have Apple's Magic Keyboard, which is awesome because it's actually got Touch ID, which I really like, and the build, and you know, it just matches the whole overall setup. I know the Magic Mouse always gets a lot of hate. I love it, I know, I get it. The people who say that, you know, it charges and you can't use it, but you know, it's not that big of a deal, if you want me to be honest. I, I get it, I get the hate, but it just works so well and I just really like it. And then I've got the trackpad, which is a must have for me for video editing, so I can just scroll and zoom in inside of Final Cut. Then I've got this Rode Pod Mic. So yes, the live streamings will be coming back with this whole setup, it's gonna be very easy for me to actually stream. I've always got my iPad mini, in my desk for anything that I need. And then this, this is one of my favorite gadgets of the year. It's a very simple dock from Elago. It's actually made from silicone, but as you can see, I actually have standby mode so I can see the time, the weather. All right, this piece of furniture in the back is what's shown in the back of the videos. And yes, I'm gonna show you what's inside here in just a second. But before I do that, I've got this Mickey Mouse retro phone, HomePod mini. This is where all the music comes from in the studio. Whenever I'm not video editing, there's always music. Yotalengi, simple. Some dry flowers. Here's some shoes that were actually mine when I was little and my mom still conserves them, which is awesome. And my Lego Star Wars X-Wing fighter with Luke Skywalker and R2-D2. Absolutely obsessed with this thing and love how it looks. I've actually got a bunch of, you know, little workers fixing the X-Wing. It's cool, come on. Okay, the moment that you were waiting for. I mean, if you're a fan of the channel, you already know what's inside of here, but if you don't, check this out. All right, so inside of here, there's actually a bunch of good stuff that if you're an Apple fan, I'm sure you're going to. Apart from Apple Watch bands that I'm gonna show you in just a bit, I've got my Apple event um, tag, I've got my Apple TV Plus Premiere, Little bats that I got, I've got WWDC pins when I went to the event, my shrinking premiere, my Apple TV Plus um, screening. There's like a bunch of cool little Apple gadgets over here, my Beat Studio Plus invitation. I've got my Apple face mask. There's a bunch of cool Apple little things with the Apple TV Plus now and then little thing that they sent me, which is super cool because you could actually get access to the playlist. This thing is awesome. Yeah, just overall a bunch of things when I went to the Matter launch event in Amsterdam. There's just a bunch of cool Apple gadgets. Got a bunch of old Apple watches over here, including the Series 0, Series 1, Series 3, including this iPod. Oh, this was my first ever iWatch, not Apple Watch, iWatch. And apart from all of that, I've got my entire Apple Watch bands collection. I love this thing because I've got most of the sport band colors. There's a bunch of shades of yellow, bunch of shades of orange, Green, blue, black. You tell me color, I probably have it right here apart. I've got a couple Apple Watch Ultra bands. Most of the Pride Edition Apple Watch bands, which these are pretty cool. I collect them every single year. I've got the Ocean band. I've got a bunch of them. I've also got a bunch of old iPhones over here. These are all my friends. I just keep asking for them and I keep collecting them. I've got old iPads over here. This is the first ever iPad, which is sick. This is my Funko Pop, my personalized Funko Pop. If I release this, what would you, would any of you buy it? No? Okay, that's it. I have nothing more. Come on, get out. I have nothing else to show you. Please, come on. Out. Out. If you, if you want to continue watching this kind of stuff, you can watch my house tour video, which is right here. Okay.